the All Blacks appear keen to have their best players on the field, regardless of what position they're in, after revealing what's likely their strongest possible side to play the Wallabies tomorrow night. The Bledisloe Cup means a lot to the world champions and they don't want to risk losing it after 17 years of dominance. But this year, World Cup glory is the ultimate goal. So what does tomorrow night's team reveal about the All Blacks' likely side for their World Cup title defence in Japan? Sports reporter Clay Wilson reveals. And White! Nick White steals a try! They stood off him! The Wallabies won the first Bledisloe test in 2015 but went on to lose the return match at Eden Park and the World Cup final to the All Blacks. The All Blacks would happily take those results again this year, but hooker Dane Coles says letting their thoughts wander to Japan would be fatal. If you think about World Cup selection and momentum going into World Cup, you're taking your attention away where it needs to be and everyone's attention needs to be in Perth for us to have the best chance of performing this week. However, one can't help but wonder what this All Blacks team means for World Cup selection. Adi Savia, New Zealand's best super rugby player this year, starts at blindside, forming a loose forward trio with open side Sam Kane and captain and number eight Kieran Reid. Hansen has been reluctant to use Savia at number six, but the latter's been given a chance to lock up the position for the World Cup. Probably the best back row we can put on the park. Artie has been in outstanding form. Sam Kane's come back and gives us a real physical presence on the park and is a natural seven. And, and Rido, he's coming back into his true form. So yeah, once people see what we're doing on Saturday, they'll agree that they're the three guys we should have picked. Usually an open side or number eight, the hard-running Sevilla says things won't change too much. I've just got six on my back, I guess, and everything will stay the same and just go out there and just now my role. Hansen has made six changes to his starting lineup for tomorrow night's clash, but retained Richie Moanga at first five, with Bowden Barrett again at fullback, another of his risk and reward gambits. Barrett is happy to be at the back, and he believes the Wallabies are more dangerous without sacked fullback Israel Folau. Barrett believes replacement Kirtley Beale provides Australia more X Factor. Kirtley's a very exciting player and he's so unpredictable. I think they certainly don't lose anything by having Kirtley there. If anything, it's probably more threatening. But how much of a threat to the All Blacks are the Wallabies? A team that haven't won the Trans Tasman Trophy since 2002. Prop Sakopi Kepu is one of several Australian veterans heading overseas after the World Cup, and he's vowing to leave nothing in the tank as he bids to finally hold the Bledisloe lower loft. Reality drops that, um, yeah, this is your last shot at, at, at the Bledisloe, and, and it is for a few of us. It's focusing on a day to day process, you know, to be the best that we can be on Saturday. The Wallabies, though, are at long odds with the bookies, and they'll need to produce their best performance for some time to win in Perth. But if the All Blacks are as scratchy as they were in their last two games, who wins is anyone's guess. Motihotaka o Tiahipo nei, ko Clay Wilson aho.